chapter 1.4 objective if you don't believe me or don't get it i don't have the time to try and convince you sorry satoshi nakamoto i have neither the time nor the crayons to explain myself to you <laughs> One point four one. Why are proof of work protocols not recognized as cybersecurity protocols anymore? Prior to the release of Bitcoin, academic consensus was that proof of work protocols were cybersecurity protocols that could be used to stop common types of cyber attacks like denial of service attacks or civil attacks. Computer scientists discussed how proof-of-work protocols could be used as a foundation for achieving consensus on decentralized and permissionless networks. But after the release of operational proof-of-work protocols, the primary topic of academic conversation changed from cybersecurity to money. References 25. 26, 27. Today, amidst the buzz around Bitcoin's functional utility as a monetary payment system, few research papers are investigating Bitcoin's utility as a proof-of-work cybersecurity system that could be used to secure other software systems and computer networks from systemic exploitation and abuse. The author finds this missing piece of academic research noteworthy because for all intents and purposes, Bitcoin appears to validate the theories regarding proof of work that first emerged 30 years ago. Most of these theories had almost nothing to do with finance, money, and ec economics. So why has money become the primary topic of conversation? Bitcoin is incontrovertible proof that proof of work works as a cybersecurity system. Bitcoin is a recursively valuable technology that uses proof of work to keep its own bits of information secure against systemic exploitation. Bitcoin therefore proves its own merit as a cybersecurity system, not exclusively a monetary system. Furthermore, the fact that Bitcoin demonstrates proof of work works as a cybersecurity protocol makes it intri intrinsically valuable, which alone could explain why it gained and maintained monetary value. People have many reasons to want to keep their bits of information secure against cyber attacks, <clears throat> including and especially their financial bits of information, but not strictly limited to financial information. It makes perfect sense that a system designed to physically secure bits of information would double as an ideal monetary system, but that wouldn't be its only possible use case, nor potentially its primary use case in the future. As financial bits of information are just one type of information that people would want to keep secure against systemic exploitation. Bitcoin could therefore represent something far more than just a new financial system architecture. Once we have figured out how to keep financial bits of information physically secure against attack, that means we have figured out how to keep all bits of information physically secure against attack. This would imply that Bitcoin could represent a special new type of computing architecture a novel way for computers to send bits of information back and forth across cyberspace in a zero trust and physically secure way that isn't vulnerable to systemic exploitation and abuse like existing computer networks connected to cyberspace are. Bitcoin could have far more national strategic security implications than just a monetary system and we could be overlooking it for no other reason than s the fact that people aren't questioning their presumptions. We could be like the alchemists of the past, looking at this new black powder concoction and assuming it's medicine for, other, for no other reason than the fact that its creator intended for its first use case to be medicine. So they called it medicine.